So I'm in therapy. I'm in therapy because I lost 80% of my mind. It's very freeing. Now see, Indians are so uncomfortable. We treat therapy like it's an STD, right? Keep it down, keep it quiet. Don't tell anybody. But there might be a day in your life when you need to go to therapy, when you need help, and that's okay. Maybe you have a loss. Maybe you have a heartbreak. Me, I did a movie called Masti Zade. <laughs> now we're gonna pause the show again. So I can explain to the American people what Masti Zade is. Look, Americans. Masti Zade was a really big budget sex comedy film starring me. <laughs> and the worst thing about Masti Zade, there's no defense for how bad that movie was. Like me trying to defend Masti Zade is like Hitler going, look, some of those Jews were assholes. <laughs> And the worst thing about Masti Zade is that it's on Netflix. <laughs> if you type Veer Das on Netflix, you will find Masti Zade next to this shit. <laughs> but when I did Masti Zade, I did something that every Bollywood actor has done at some point in his career. I starred in a shitty movie. Fair? Fair? Did I know before I did it that it was a shitty movie? Yeah. Fuck yes, I knew it was a shitty movie. <laughs> I read the script, it was potty potty shit shit the end. <laughs> but I was kind of desperate, I needed the money, and I got to romance Sunny Leone on screen for two months. <laughs> Sunny Leone, one of the most beautiful women in the world, and you think, <laughs> you think you are going to have cool stories to tell your children when they're growing up. You tell them how you were employee of the month at KPMG or some shit like that. <laughs> My kids are gonna be running up to me with iPads. Papa, this lady? <laughs> I love you, Papa. You're my hero. <laughs> Get in the Maruti. She's intelligent, she's talented, she's beautiful, she's an entrepreneur, she's down to earth. Which is why when the movie came out, nobody got mad at her. <laughs> Everybody got mad at me! <laughs> the Times of India is the largest circulated newspaper in the world. They had a supplement article with a headline that said, Veer Das has committed career suicide, that's if he had a career in the first place. <laughs> and then my phone stopped ringing for five months. Fucking Vodafone wouldn't call me. <laughs> Once a month, that Airtel girl would put on a nun's outfit, call me and be like, shame, shame, and put the phone down. <laughs> and that's what I felt. I felt intense, crippling shame. Like I had messed up everything I had built for 10 years. Eventually, all I did was really learn a lesson. Here's the lesson I learned. I learned uh, that your talent belongs to you and weirdly your reputation belongs to other people. Like other people will decide when you are cool, uncool, finished, relevant, irrelevant, want a selfie, don't care. It's none of your business. Don't think about that shit. It's a disease, you can't control it. Focus on the talent you have in front of you and you'll always be okay. That's what I learned. <laughs> And I plan to take that suffering and that bleeding and everything I went through and put it all into Masti Zade 2, coming out in October, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be on Netflix. It's gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> you know what I was trying to do with that movie? I was trying to get more famous really fast. That's all it was. And I did. I got 20% more fame at the expense of 80% of my credibility. But we're sold on these Bollywood dreams when we're in school, right? We see Shah Rukh Khan on TV, India's biggest star spreading his arms and a girl runs towards him. And you're like, man, I want to do that someday. And I did. I lived that dream. And when you do that shit, you discover that only Shah Rukh Khan can pull that off. <laughs> it's terrifying. 
you need balls to pull that off. You know how actors have inner monologues? That's what you tell yourself. I have balls, I have balls. Big, big balls, big, big balls. <laughs> Come, look at my balls. <laughs> Don't believe me, I'll prove it to you right now. Come on, everybody sing the song. Har pal I have balls, I have balls. <laughs> big, big balls, big, big balls. And then you stay there, anticipating, longing. Because the girl is running towards you in slow motion. That's the shit you see. I see. They shoot that shit in real time. Three seconds, she has arrived. I'm like, listen, I haven't acted yet. Could you do another lap, please? <laughs> So an Indian heroine spends her whole day just doing athletics. <laughs> She's got 90 kilos of embroidery and gold and jewels. You can see diamonds just flying off her as she's running. You see the Queen of England behind her just picking that shit up. <laughs> you see Nirav Modi behind that bitch picking shit up as well. <laughs> 